Police brutality is once again in the spotlight. A police officer stationed in Sophia town has been granted bail of 2,000 rand for assaulting a man in Recha Park. ENCA reported on the case after being shown footage of the man being beaten by the officer in uniform. Slinda Lomasikane following the story for us. She joins us now live from the newsroom. So, Slee, you were in court earlier. Tell us what happened. Well, what we saw in court today essentially was the bail application from Constable Michael Say. Uh, he did uh, switch lawyers today. However, the bail application did proceed. And we heard from his lawyer who detailed how he's a first-time offender, he has no previous convictions, and that uh, he wouldn't be uh, a danger to society if he is let out on bail. He is facing Schedule 1 offenses, uh, charges of assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm, as well as assaults uh, with threats, as well as the handling of a firearm uh, under the influence. So there have been suggestions that uh, he had um, had some little to drink uh, when he assaulted this man. But what we also heard in court, Johan, was the fact that he actually admitted uh, to these charges, saying that, you know, he did take the law into his own hands. He understands that what he did was wrong, that he is actually hoping that this matter can be resolved through mediation rather through the courts of law. Let's take a listen to his um, lawyer who, uh, who, had, uh, who was reading his statement, rather, um, and his affidavit. I will not interfere with witnesses nor temper with any witnesses. I understand that the state is opposing the bail primarily on this leg of my bail inquiry due to the fact that I had assaulted the complainant. I respectfully submit, without justifying my actions in any way or form, that there were extenuating circumstances which led me to perpetrate such actions. My child had been snatched away from me and I believe, due to the fact that I am placed within the empty gang unit, that this was an onslaught on me and my family. I was emotionally distraught at the disappearance of my child and the lack of help from the Rekha Park South African Police Services. So what were the reasons for the state opposing bail? Well, for the fact that uh, the accused has actually tried to contact the complainant and the person that he beat up in that video that we saw, uh, that he's written a letter to him apologizing, um, a letter to pick and pay as well for, uh, you know, escalating the matter and taking the law into his own hands. They're saying that the family as well as the complainant fears for their life, fears for the safety of their family, saying that he made good on the promise of assaulting him before and that he has made a promise to further um, assault him once more. So the state says that uh, um, as a police officer, she should actually know better than to try and contact the complainant in this matter. Let's take a listen to the state prosecutor. He is a danger to the community. He made it clear, approached the complainant unprovoked, assaulted him. Your worship will further submit that should he be released on being your worship, he has already inter started interfering with the complainant. He sent the complainant a letter or she to apologize. As a police officer, he's supposed to know better. So when's this matter going to be back in court? Well, the matter is back in court on the 23rd of November. It's been postponed for further investigations. And uh, we also understand that there is another case of kidnapping because the father alleges that his child was kidnapped um, and dropped off at this particular store. And that is what led to his frustration and him uh, demanding the footage resulting in this assault. So we will see what the outcomes of this matter uh, will be come the 23rd of November. All right. Slindelo Masikane, thanks for that.